Staying on the subject of Donald Trump, we have more reporting that is just ridiculous, bizarre, very irresponsible, outrageous when it comes to Trump, what has been uncovered in the investigation into his handling of classified documents. Here from ABC News, Trump allegedly discussed U.S. nuclear subs with foreign national after leaving White House. Months after leaving the White House, former President Donald Trump allegedly discussed potentially sensitive information about U.S. nuclear submarines with a member of his Mar-a-Lago club, an Australian billionaire, who then allegedly shared the information. This is <laughs> crazy. Uh... With scores of others, including more than a dozen foreign officials, several of his own employees, and a handful of journalists, according to sources familiar with the matter. By the way, ABC News doing great reporting on uh, this investigation. We've gotten so many huge bombshells from them. Before reading further, just to remind you, Trump said when he was running for president, trying to attack Hillary Clinton on this, classified information, sensitive government secrets, so crucial that we keep those protect it administration i'm going to enforce all laws concerning laws the protection of classified information no one will be above the law one of the first things we must do is to enforce all classification rules and to enforce all laws relating to the handling of classified information we all and all these clips we've seen many times in the past. But I'd like to remind you, he's not someone who never exactly found it important to keep sensitive information secret. He said that was so important. But when he said no one was going to be above the law, he meant Hillary Clinton, guys, not him, you goobers. Um, here's a little bit more. The potential disclosure was reported to special counsel Jack Smith's team as they investigated Trump's alleged hoarding of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. The sources told ABC News the information could shed further light on Trump's handling of sensitive government secrets. Uh, prosecutors and FBI agents have at least twice this year interviewed the Mar-a-Lago member, Anthony Pratt, who runs U.S.-based Pratt Industries, one of the world's largest packaging companies. Uh, in those interviews, Pratt described how looking to make conversation with Trump during a meeting at Mar-a-Lago in April 2021, he brought up the American submarine fleet, which the two had discussed before, the sources said. Here's more <laughs> of this being discussed on CNN. Or have you learned from your reporting? We confirmed what ABC reported, Anderson, which is that Trump had this conversation with Mr. Pratt, who's a member of Mar-a-Lago, uh, not long after leaving office. This was a, a conversation which, in which Trump uh, supposedly revealed a couple of pieces of, of sensitive information. Now, you know, it, it's not clear exactly what Trump said. We know that, you know, according to ABC, it was specifics about uh, capabilities and about distance uh, that the submarines can go and how close they can get in certain cases. This is not, it, it doesn't appear he showed a document to this gentleman, but I don't know for prosecutors that that matters because our understanding is he is among the trial witnesses who prosecutors have listed as possible people they will call and what they would likely use him for is to establish a pattern of Trump being loose with sensitive information and the government's secrets. So, Right, so it's more about depicting not that this instance is some crime defining moment but instead to characterize the nature of trump's approach to this information because then that further uh reveals as he was holding on to this stuff the willful retention of national defense information as he's being charged with um as he had the documents he wasn't supposed to have as he was trying to hide them from federal authorities moving them around uh, getting his lawyers to lie on subpoenas allegedly to federal authorities and all these different steps he also wasn't exactly keeping that information well protected secure um as we've seen in the locations where the documents were and also discussions that he had here's more from this uh pratt told trump he believed australia should start buying its summaries from the united states to which an excited trump leaning towards pratt as if to be discreet then told pratt two pieces of information about u.s submarines the supposed exact number of nuclear warheads they routinely carry and exactly how close they supposedly can get to a Russian submarine without being detected. So stories like this, not to mention the Iran document where Trump is waving around documents saying, oh, it's classified. I wasn't able to 
or I'm not currently able to just declassify it. I would have been as president and I still have it sensitive as secret. Lol, uh, all add to that depiction of a very irresponsible individual as he was also allegedly obstructing the investigator's ability to get these documents back, keeping them when he was supposed to have them, etc. So quite the story adding on to a stack of stories we have in relation to Trump and his not so careful handling of classified sensitive material. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and get a bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.